All right, Megan, let's take a look at your paper. Um, everything up here looks good. This looks good. Anonymous US, very clever. Um, maybe one of the better titles I've seen out of everyone. Love the first sentence. I actually think it works really well. Um, I would, I'm would. i kind of balking at the word sameness. The government still wishes for sameness amongst their citizens. I bet you can find a different word or a different phrase for that. Um, they do look for uniformity. They look for... Um, sometimes they look for un, uh, unblinking um, devotion, maybe something like that you could add in there. I don't know. So in this poem, uh, Auden uses sarcastic and cynical tones. I think those are two really great tones to reflect on. Uh, to have a country of monotony, monot oh, monotony, which is good. This is where um, I would extend maybe um, combine these two sentences. I think this is a really good sentence to kind of combine um, and 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 clean up the language a little bit, at least the way the government believes to be the greater good. I don't know if you want to repeat that phrase, and that's why I think it's, it's kind of awkward. So I bet if you combine these two together, I think it would be much, much better. So using all of these, he displays, and here is the problem. Look at this verb. Displaying something is just to put it out there for you to look at. So all you're doing is saying, look, Auden is putting this out here. Look at the relationships. Look at the disregard. That's not, it's not a message statement yet. So you still haven't got to the message of the piece. Uh, so you're still mixing that. And what I've discovered with all your other cohorts here, when you have a weak thesis statement, you have a, a weak um, mean part of your paragraphs. So we'll go down and look and see what you've done with it. But usually... Uh, that's the case. So work on that thesis statement. Make it a little bit stronger. All right. So attacking point of view, I think, is a, a really good step in this process. So you talk about how he demonstrates exactly why government relations to its citizens are nothing more than statistics, which isn't a bad way to start with a topic sense. Uh, and then you get into uh, this example it becomes apparent that the government values data from its citizens and not much more than that. This is a really awkward sentence, although, comma, the unknown citizen within the unknown citizen, so no comma there uh, in that case, um, most likely has no clue that is seemingly meaningless to the government. For this reason, a view quickly becomes necessary to convey his message. Weak sentence. They do not want to see sentences like this on the AP test. Um, so be careful what you say because you really want to, to everything to be concrete analytical sentences not just oh he has to have this because you have to I mean that's all you're saying so get rid of that stuff uh, that kind of sentence but also keep in mind that you haven't dug deep enough yet which is what's wrong with this all you're saying is there's an impersonal relationship here are some examples that show that's an impersonal relationship you can't just do that you got to dig deeper into it um, so they describe reports and research uh, the government has on their citizens uh, this finally, you're getting to, you're getting to a message, uh, proving the government is completely detached from its citizens. What does that mean to the greater good of society? This is where you need to dive deeper into this idea. Okay, so go in and really keep talking about it. Talk about some universal truths, if you will, or talk about some ways that you can tie this poem into uh, the concept of government as a whole. Uh, but you, this is a good start, Megan. But this is just the start. You got to keep going off of that. Uh, you also need a strong uh, transitional sentence that goes from this paragraph to this paragraph. So we're going to strong transitional sentence in there as well. All right. You bring this up again, which these tones should be apparent in all the paragraphs. We shouldn't have to say these at the front, especially since you bring it up quite a bit in here. I really like the flow of this paragraph. I'm not going to completely um, kiss up to you yet because you still need to do a little bit more digging, of, digging deeper here. But I really like the flow as far as you really get a, a good sense of, of how the structure plays into it. Um, and a lot of your classmates are having a hard time with that. They'll say it's structure. They may give a good example, but they have a hard time tying it all together. And I think you do a really good job with that, Megan, in this paragraph. So you talk about the uniformity they expect. The detachment uh, becomes notably apparent as the narrator mocks the government so that they can be fair, happy as absurd. Uh, 
they should have certainly heard is that they knew absolutely everything going on with their citizens. Or maybe they do and they're playing dumb. So that could be a concept you could explore uh, there, which again would be a sarcastic tone. Uh, and then you keep going with the, and it's the rhyme and a cynical stance in the government statistics. Uh, they didn't know what they did every day and how it was normal in every way. So I like that um, look at a rhyme. It's causing the government to do complete satisfy with this conformity and uniformity. I really, again, I like this structure. I think it's a, a really good structure as far as a paragraph goes. I think you could dig deep a couple more places, like I said in that line right there. But this, oh my gosh, Megan, they are absolutely going to hate you on the AP test if you say something like this. Oh, he's able to express his meaning beyond words. That's that... It, just no, Megan. Um, you don't want to put anything like that. It doesn't add anything to your argument. Um, and literally anybody could say that about anything in any poem across the world. Uh, and it would be true. So you don't want to say that. You want to be unique and original. So get rid of, of sentences like that. That's not going to help you at all in your writing. And again, strong transition between the two paragraphs. This is also a really weak sentence to start off the next paragraph with. It has an immense effect on the meaning. Well, again, I could say that about any poem anywhere in the world. Start with this sentence. Uh, cynical and sarcastic temperament, I like that word, he uses diction to exhibit the apathy of the government. So not a bad topic sentence. Now, what you're doing though here, which I should have um, oh, you didn't do it as much up here. Okay, so good. It's only down here. You're getting away from embedding quotes. And you're going to, oh, he uses words like this and this. And he uses words like this, this, and this. We want to embed them in uh, your writing. So just be conscientious of that, that you need more embedding and not just straight up, here are some words that he uses. Uh, try to embed them actually into your into your writing. Um, throughout the poem, he uses words with positive connotations. Uh, again, you can go back to saint and proper as those positive ones too. Yet, he uh, uses his cynical and sarcastic opinion to change them into negative average descriptions. And again, you start to get deeper here. Uh, Harley provides the same service to other peers. You start to get deeper and then you just stop. Uh, and that's where you got to keep going is right here. You got to keep going and talking about this concept because that's where good analysis is going to thrive in that uh, that beginning part there. So just as you're you know getting good, you get in the end the paragraph and it's frustrating. So we want to we want to add on to that side. So in your conclusion, you got the um, thesis again, which we're going to change and make better in the next time around. Uh, go through all of your main paragraphs uh, and summarize them and I think you do a pretty good job of that ideally comma every person can thrive on the same ideas and grant everything uh, this isn't realistic because honestly where would human beings be without new ideas and different opinions I would be okay with that ending if that's actually something that you got to in the paper I don't feel like you even touched on this idea that um, we need citizens need new ideas to kind of break free from that and is that getting to a better thesis statement the idea of the government doesn't really know what we need uh, they just think we know what we need and they spoon feed us what they think we want uh, that might be an interesting part of your thesis that you can explore then this sentence would make really a lot of sense um, overall and you could really talk about some of that stuff in some of your uh, body paragraph so something to think about in the future uh, everything looks here good here with MLA citations so good job with that all right Megan I, you got a, a lot of good stuff in here a lot of things that need work uh, but uh, I feel pretty good about where you're heading so I'd love to see a rewrite out of you soon